Hey, what's up, y'all? Listen to me, man. Let's talk for a second. What is it that you are letting stop you from being great? You know what I mean? From from achieving your dreams, from opening up your business and building wealth. Point blank period. I'm going to turn the AC down just a little bit. I feel like it's too loud. Listen, man. Like, you keep worrying about, oh, I don't have no experience or... Uh, well, I don't know what to do. Well, what if your course don't teach me this? Well, uh, think of all these different things that are just pointless to waste your time on thinking about when you could be taking action. How many times you got to see somebody hop on my channel and interview and tell you about their success story? How many times, how many videos I got to upload to tell you like everything you need from A to Z? I mean, I got a video. If you look up any subject that you're nervous about, if you Google that topic and AJ Simmons on YouTube, uh, 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 some type of message is probably going to come up. You know what I mean? Like, whatever it is that you're thinking about or, or what's stopping you, you know, it's pointless. Like, get, like, stop, like, get over yourself. You know what I mean? You got to get over yourself, dog. Like, think about it. If I wouldn't have done this shit, if I wouldn't have took action and actually quit that damn government job and started my cleaning company, I would not be in the position that I'm in today. I would have still been stuck at the shipyard like everybody else that I knew. And if, and if that's what they want, kudos to them. I'm not bashing having that job. I'm bashing myself if I was capable of doing more and didn't. If you capable of doing more than what you currently doing and you not doing it, shame on you. You know what I mean? Because you bullshitting and you failing yourself. And not only are you failing yourself, you failing all of the people around you that you care about. And the strangers that could have been affected by you taking action. Let me tell you something. I Right now, I have a staff of 12 people. You know what I mean? Not including myself. And that income that they get from the, the opportunity that I created, from the, the, uh, the company that I created, is helping them to have a better life for themselves. You see what I'm saying? Like, I just cut the biggest check ever for payroll. <laughs> you know what I mean? That I ever cut. I cut my biggest check ever so far since I've been doing business for $3,800. You know what I mean? And it's like in one pay period. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, but would I have been able to do that had I just kept trying to play it safe and tiptoe and keep making this good money at this good job? You know what I mean? Like, no, that wouldn't have happened. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you got to get beside yourself and you're going to have to grind when you do this shit. You got to stop being scared to taking risks. You know what I mean? Like, wouldn't you like to be able to just put your family on? Don't you got some cousins? I mean, don't you got some some uncles, some aunts? I mean, don't you got some parents that you want to help that you was like, damn, I wish they ain't had to work at that that retail job. I mean, wish I could provide a better opportunity for them. Damn, I wish they didn't have to live in public housing. I wish I could pay them more so they can be able to afford to move out. You see what I'm saying? Like, you got people all around you that, that need you. And then it's like, well, my why I got to be me? Because you know better. You know how I know you know better? Because you watching this shit. People that know but that don't know better not watching this. You know what I mean? They keeping up with the fucking Kardashians and 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 all this other bullshit. The pop shit. You know what I mean? The the stuff that has nothing to do with advancing themselves. You watching this, so that means you responsible for this. Stop being selfish. You know what I mean? I tell y'all, I told y'all one uh, message not too long ago, a few videos back. I told y'all, like, you got to be, you got to appear selfish. That's why I say you got to be selfish because you got to appear to be selfish. When people say, can I borrow this? Let's go in on this business together. You got to say no to all of this. No, you can't borrow no money from me right now and building the business. No, we can't go in on this business together nine times out of ten because a partnership ain't usually nine times out of ten going to do hold you back. A lot of y'all waiting around on my partner this, my partner that, my partner. Fuck a partner, dog. They ain't going to hold you back. A lot of times partnerships don't work is because mo only one person bringing something to the table. One person got all the money, got all the damn, uh, the resources and the knowledge, but they waiting around on somebody else just because you don't want to be alone. Man, if you can get up the money to do it and you able to get this information, you watching this video, go do it. Stop trying to drag people along with you that ain't ready to go. If they ain't ready to go, leave them. You know what I mean? I, I could have said, I wanted all my team to come with me. I wanted every one of my bros, you know what I mean? All my dudes from back when I grew up, I wanted all of them to come with me. Tried to give them all jobs too. You know what I mean? But it's like, but everybody can't go with you. What's for you is for you. And you can't feel bad about it either. And then once you get there, you can help them even better because what's going to happen is you building, you building, you building year after year after year. And at some point, they're going to realize, damn, I should have started a business with you. 
And so now you can put them in power by teaching them how to start their own because now you really know better. See, at the beginning, you just kind of had a feeling that this thing could work and I want you to go in with me on this. No, but if you go out there and you go do it, you can show them how to get their own too. That's how you, like, that's how it's not selfish for you to just shut down, block everybody out and go get it right quick because you could bring the whole loaf back and you could show people how to create a loaf. You see what I'm saying? Like, you could teach people to fish. Stop trying to give people fish and teach them to fish. You see what I'm saying? Because you can provide jobs for those, because everybody ain't an entrepreneur. But for those the ones who didn't come with you and you were trying to bring them come with you, well, now, if you build that business big enough, you can provide them a good paying job and train them to be a manager. You see what I'm saying? Think about your kids. If you got kids, if you can pass on this business and you build it up and automate it and put systems in place like I'm trying to teach y'all to do, you can pass that business on to your kids and they will never have to pick up a broom or a vacuum a day in their life because you already built it up and all they got to do is collect the damn royalty checks. I mean, the uh, dividend checks, I mean. I mean, because they equity partners. They own, they own stake in this company. You know what I mean? You can pass down that wealth to them. But none of this will ever be possible if you don't take action. If you don't take action. My wife right now, she out here looking for her first rental property. And I'm, you know how proud I am because we doing this based off a, biz, a, build, a business that we built. You see what I'm saying? Not off of no job. You know what I mean? None of that shit. And she took some jobs for a little while to get in position to help her out. And now she's working for our company that pays her more than any job she ever had. And now she's buying her first uh, rental property. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, this is the stuff it's about. This is what it's about. You can be doing all of these things that you dream about doing, but you got to take action first. It ain't. I told y'all this before. You ain't got to be passionate about cleaning. I don't do this shit because I love cleaning so much. Even though once you get doing it, once you get to doing it, and you get to uh, listen to some audio books or some music or something, it's, it's very peaceful once you get out there. Because a lot of times you clean at night, after hours, ain't nobody in there other than you and maybe your team or just you or whoever. But you in there and it's peaceful, man. Even if you ain't listening to nothing and you just in there quietly cleaning, that's a lot. That's like meditation time, really. And most of my best ideas that I thought of, as far as uh, even this channel, videos to record. Um, anything I did. A lot of times those thoughts came to me while I was out cleaning. Tell you the truth. You know what I mean? So, but you can do any, like all of this stuff that y'all want to do, man, you can do it as soon as you get started with a business. And the easiest business to get started in, the easiest business to get started in is a service business because it takes little capital and it has very high upside. And then anybody can do it as long as you show them how to do it. Nine times out of 10, period. I mean, everybody can't do no compute like compute in you know, online internet based business because everybody not tech savvy. But everybody can go pick up a mop and you know what I mean, <laughs> I mean, sweep a flow, mop a flow. You can train everybody to do that. That's something you can teach people to do. You see what I'm saying? Then you build that wealth up. You work your way from the bottom and you work your way up to the top. Like no, it's no excuse. Even if you say you ain't got no money. A lot of a lot of times y'all say y'all ain't got no money, but how the fuck you got on these uh Name brand ass clothes and these extra, uh, you know what I mean? These two hundred dollar pair of shoes, you know what I mean? All of this stuff, y'all got to sacrifice, dog. The first year my kids went to school when we first got here to Florida, that first year, my kids didn't get no back to school clothes, shoes, none of that shit. You know what I mean? We made sure they was clean, but they didn't get new stuff. Then that following year, we built up. You know what I mean? They got a little bit of something. Then this year they got a little bit more than that that previous year. And they they can get they can get it once I get it. You know what I mean? Once the parents get it, and that's what you got to do. You got to make a sacrifice in your life and say, okay, we ain't gonna be able to do this. You know what I mean? Like if, if you buy groceries and you, you ain't no food stamps, or nothing, you buy groceries. Maybe y'all can't get the name brand cereal. You know what I mean? Maybe y'all can't get all the name brand stuff. Maybe you can't keep going to uh, the expensive grocery store. You know what I mean? Like you got to sacrifice somewhere though, so you can get the money. Like money ain't no excuse either, because a lot of y'all wearing the money. A lot of y'all driving in the money. You see what I'm saying? Like, come on, dogs. There's a way to make it happen. There's a way to go get it. Period. And I'm telling you that as a person that sacrificed, said fuck the bill sometime and so I can hide the money to invest. You know what I mean? I'm, period. But it's worth it, though. It's worth it. You can't keep making everybody else rich. And then you too scared to go take action on your own stuff, man. Period. And the reason why I tell y'all to do the cleaning business is because that's what I know. That's what I can teach you. 
No, I mean, I'm not going to tell you to go get into lawn care, and I can't tell you how to do everything there is in lawn care. I got a good idea. I can give you general knowledge on it. It's, you know, business is business. But at the end of the day, I'm going to teach you how to do what I know. This will work for me. This is how I got up all my feet. This is how you can do it, too. If you don't want to do cleaning, then God damn it, do something, and then just go find a person that specializes in that. I mean, but if you just want to do a business and you want to build wealth, Start a cleaning company because, like I said, you don't got to be passionate about this stuff. I'm telling you, if I were to listen to everybody around me, man, a lot of people told me, don't quit that job. Oh, well, you could take a leave. You know you can take a leave of absence up to a year if you want to with the uh, with the shipyard, and you can still have that government job, and that way, if it mess up, you have something to fall back on. Man, I walked dead out that shit. I don't need nothing to fall back on. That's how you fail when you know you got a plan B. Fuck plan B. I want to burn the bridge so I can't retreat. I got to succeed. And it paid off. You know what I mean? So it could pay off for you, but you got to do it first. You got to do it. Think of, if I never would have quit, what more my brother had when he came home from the penitentiary? What would he have? Like, what would he would have had? Because everybody else around him tell him, oh, go in the shipyard. No, or go do this. Or you can go get a trade. Or well, you could do. And it's like, okay, all y'all saying what he could do, but can't nobody put him in position. I was able to put him in position and not just give a job, but actually provide knowledge now i mean then he got to go take the action and make it happen but to provide that knowledge you see what i'm saying and provide a job so it's like bam you can work here as long as you do what you're supposed to do now i mean and if you want your own because i know he you know what i mean he, he like he got an ego like i got an ego so i knew we came he can't be up under me but for too long you see what i'm saying so it's like okay bam i'm gonna set you up to get your own you see what i'm saying and so it's like but that's the position you got to be in but you keep listening to everybody else keep trying to find a good job you know what I mean? That, that's what you're going to get. Exactly what you're going to get. Regular. Average. And get, what the fuck? Like, come on, man. That's not what we're here for. You ain't here to just pay bills and die, dog. Period. You're not here for that. You're here to build, man. To be the best version of yourself you could be. Keep going until the point where you know that you're maximizing your full potential. Keep pushing. There's always something more out there for you. Period. Impact more people. How many people you impacting when you working at that job, man? And I'm not job shaming. I'm just telling you, if you watching this, you must be an entrepreneur. You must be built for this shit if you interested in this. If you want to watch this for a reason, and the reason is probably because you know there's more out there for you. Regular people don't watch this type of shit. That's why I'm talking to you. This message ain't for everybody. I know that everybody can't be a damn entrepreneur. But for the ones who are, get it, dog. Stop being scared and go get that shit. Period. Nobody knew how to do it. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. You guys, I started when I was 19. That was way back in the day. I didn't know nothing about no internet. I didn't know. I ain't have, like, these days, everybody entrepreneur on Instagram and shit now, right? Back then, won't nobody entrepreneur. I was the only one that I knew that was doing this shit. Okay? And I didn't have any experience. But you know what I did? I put my motherfucking money up and I figured it out. Period. That's what you got to do. Figure it out. And I'm making it easy for you to figure it out with cleanbiznetwork.com, man. If you want a starter kit, I can put you on, get you your starter kit. I send all the goddamn supplies and some equipment you need to your career. I, I got you, I set you up in my online uh, self-paced course that's going to teach you every single thing that you need to know about it. Then if you got questions after the course, you're going to be a member of the Clean Biz Network private coaching group that's on Facebook, private, private group that's in Facebook, so you ain't got to create no new profile or nothing. You already on there. Just join the group once you uh, get the kit. And then you can always ask us questions in there. I'm in there every day. We got over 200 members in there that's every day, you know what I mean? And so it's like you ain't just getting my perspective. You're getting all these other people's perspective too. So then you get those three things. Then on top of that, this is the ice is on the cake right here. And this is the only reason I really even keep my lead generation service going is because then we're going to turn around and give you another 10 bid, not another. We're going to give you 10 bid appointments, okay? We're going to set you up with 10 chances, 10 good solid chances to walk through buildings. they already expecting you to come. You walk through the building. You measure it. You look around, see what they want you to do, and you can provide them with a quote and close. try to close at least one of them goddamn 10. Or you might close five or six like the other dude did, or you might close two, or you might close all 10 of them. I don't know how many you're going to close. You might close none of them, you know what I mean? but you still got to stay hungry. But the bottom line is you got a damn good chance of closing one, okay? You got a damn good chance of getting a customer within 30 motherfucking days from the day you buy your starter kit as long as you apply yourself and, and actually do what the course say. You know what I mean? As soon as we start sending you bid appointments, 
You go out there, dress up, look people dead in the eyes, smile, firm handshake. You know what I mean? Be cordial. Ask the right questions, which of course will teach you how to do that. And you in there. And you can close. You can get you a contract. And that contract, you don't know how much that contract could be. It could That shit could pay you more than your job ever, ever planned on paying you. But you so busy scared. You so busy waiting for somebody else to do, you're going to watch them. You know what I mean? You so busy, well, I don't know about this. You, you know what I mean? Like, oh, making any excuse possible, just stop playing and go do it. Man, how many people got to do it for you to realize you could do it too? And the best part about the cleaning uh, industry is this. First of all, it's a billion, multi-billion dollar industry. But the best part about it is most of these companies in this industry are small companies like small mom and pop that aren't, they ain't got their shit together. They don't renew their LLC every year on time or at all. They don't got business bank accounts. Some of them don't even got LLCs and they just fly by night hustlers doing bullshit, bad minimum, poor service. And so it's easy to go in there and take these contracts for them. Then for the other people, the other ones, they do a franchise. And the franchises, a lot of, most of the franchise owners that clean in these accounts, they suck. Period. That's why I was able to zoom past everybody, you know what I mean, when I started my cleaning company. Because everybody else sucked. And I would just gobble up all their damn contracts. They can't clean. And if they can, they don't take the time out to do it. And you know why the franchise owners don't do it? I'm going to tell you why they don't do it in particular. It's because they underpaid. They don't get what they... Like, they got the franchise taking their percentage from the top. Then on top of that, it was underbid a lot. Most of the time, most of the contracts of the franchise, when they get them, they underbid contracts anyway. So that's why these people ain't putting their effort in because they know they ain't get what they supposed to get. So they just like, fuck it, I'm going to do the bare minimum. I'm going to dump this trash and go. I know I'm supposed to dust, but I ain't dust it. I know I'm supposed to vacuum, but I ain't vacuuming today. You know what I mean? So it's easy for you to go in there as somebody that's dedicated and you about to get the whole pie because you ain't got no franchise over your head to go in there and swoop them contracts away because you're going to go in there and do what you're supposed to do because you locked in because you know that you can't fail because you can't fail because you don't put this goddamn 1997 up on this starter kit from this guy on the internet and you got to make it because if you don't make it, then everybody around you going to be like, see, I told you you shouldn't have done that. You know what I mean? So you got to make it, period. Stop making excuses, man. If y'all ready to get started, www.cleanbillsnetwork.com. If you want to get your starter, click, click, click the starter kit button. And as a matter of fact, I like you don't got to get the full starter kit, too. I understand that you could easily go and find you some cheaper equipment than what I, because I, I send that professional grade stuff. But you can get you some cheaper equipment outside of me, and I'll just give you the course. You can just buy the course. I think the course right now, if you go to cleanbillsnetwork.com, click that announcement at the top because it's on sale right now. I think you get it for one ninety seven right now, one ninety something like that. You know what I mean? So you just get the course by itself, and then you take that information that I provide, and I got you some wholesalers in there as well inside the course, a lot of stuff in the course, and you can go get you some little dollar store supplies and shit, and a, and a Walmart vacuum if you want to. You know what I mean? Now it's I can't tell you that stuff work that good, but you can. All, my point is you can get started. There's a way to make it happen, even if you ain't got the two grand to get the full kit from me. My point is you got to take action and get started for you and not just for you, for everybody around you, because you can be providing jobs. You can be providing that knowledge. Shit, some of y'all might want to consult, too. You might want to do what I'm doing. You can. You can. That's why y'all see me telling everybody in my group, like, dude, get on YouTube, get on YouTube, get on YouTube, build that personal brand up, because there should be a lot more of me out here. It should be a lot more of us out here. It's, and I'm going to just say this shit plain. It's too many black. And, and Hispanic people in particular, and I see some other ethnicities too, but all of us are in this industry either as franchise owners or as workers. And then you see these big franchise companies, every single one of them are white owned. You know what I mean? Like at some point, y'all got to get tired of stop getting the pieces of the crumb or the, or the cake. And at some point, you got to want the whole cake. You see what I'm saying? That's why I created Clean Biz Network so we can start penetrating some of that market shit. You know what I mean? Period. And that's facts. Go get yours, man. Period. I I need if somebody Hispanic speak. If you can speak Spanish, you it, one of y'all need to be out there doing what I'm doing right now. There's a whole Spanish market that I can't touch that you can touch. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? But you got to take action first. You got to master this shit first. I can talk about this like it ain't nothing because I know what the fuck I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like I told you. And I'm a businessman. 
I'm not a cleaning guy. Like people see cleaning business consultant and automatically think, oh, well, uh, what's the best solution to use on this? The best solution. No, I can get it clean. Now, I mean, we going to get it clean. Now, I mean, we figure all the particulars and shit out later. I can hire people who know how to clean better than me. I'm going to show you how to hire. I'm going to show you how to manage and lead. I'm going to show you how to get more contracts than you're losing and, and watch that bottom line. That's my job. I'm a business person. I'm a business consultant. I'm going to show you how to build a business and build wealth. That's what I do. That's what I'm here for. And that's what I'm trying to get you to do. Get out here and grind, man, period. Get out here and grind, man. Build yours and start watching everybody else build theirs and working for other people who build in theirs. They're using you. Matter of fact, I posted that video the other day, the other day yesterday about how Master P turned down that million dollars. And he said to himself, if, if Jim, I think it was Jimmy Iovine, if Jimmy Iovine is willing to offer me a million dollars to sign to him, then I must be worth 10 times more than that. And then his ass turned around and he had $500 in his pocket at that time. He turned around, went back, built his own fucking shit and then came back and made a hundred million by turning down that million. A lot of y'all want to take these franchises because you see, oh, they're going to grow fast. Yeah, I'm going to get the six figures real quick, just like AJ did. You know what I mean? Just like a lot of other people that y'all know that did. I mean, that I had an interview. But it's like, fuck trying to get to that fast because you want that. You want that upfront money. Man, build your shit brick by brick. And I guarantee the kid going to be way bigger. Period. I done seen it on both sides. And I tell you, I like the ownership side better. The full, real, independent ownership side better. The cake is bigger. You know what I mean? Like, don't get fooled by a lot of different things that you see. Build your own, man. And get something that you can pass out on to your kids, man. Appreciate y'all watching. If you're interested in getting your cleaning business started, cleanbiznetwork.com. Click the Start a Kit button. If you need leads for your cleaning company, you're already in business, go to cleanbiznetwork.com. Click on the lead generation service. We can set you up with some walkthroughs. And then if you also want to... Uh, Learn how to hire cold callers yourself because that's how my lead generation service work. We got people overseas doing an excellent job, setting appointments nonstop. I can show you how to hire cold callers overseas. And that, uh, and what else I was going to tell you about that? Also, internet marketing, uh, getting employees on automated, all of that type of stuff is in my master class, cleaning business master class. And that class is probably about to come to an end. There ain't no probably about it. That class is coming to an end September 30th. Okay. So. If you don't get in the master class before this month is over, it ain't it ain't no more. So make sure y'all go get that cleaning business master class too if you're interested in that. All right. That's what I got for y'all. AJ Simmons, go take action.